Hello, and welcome back to Planet Apocalypse, and welcome to Libra season! It's September 23rd, 2023, and I'm on the East Coast, so the sun entered Libra at about 2-something this morning, and Pacific-wise it would have been yesterday at 11.50-something, so like right near midnight. Anyway, new season! Hooray! Uh, this is just the astrological grimoire that I've been setting up every solar season, zodiac season. It's a B5 notebook therapy bullet journal with 160 GSM pages, so nice and thick for all sorts of media. And I'm just cutting out little tabs because um, I'm going to be having a bunch of different sections in here, and I wanted them kind of kept together. So... Associations for Libra. The ruling planet is Venus, the planet of love and money, or love and like values and stuff. So the, the other Venus ruled sign is Taurus, and Libra is more about beauty, and then Taurus would be more about like the senses and being very sensual. So Libra is represented by the scales. It's actually how I remember that Libra is an air sign. It's because the scales dangle in the air. And because scales are all about balance, that's one of the themes of, of Libra. And that's also why they're very into beauty. Aside from the fact that like Venus is representative of beauty and art and stuff like that. You know, like not all art is balanced, but <laughs> I, I think you got the idea. Okay. All right. So the phrase is, I relate. And that's because Libra is all about our relationships. So the give and take of things, um, making sure that your relationships, your, and this is specifically like your one-to-one -one relationships, not like, oh, it's my family. It's, you know, very specific to the person, like those most important people in your life. And it's always important to make sure that those relationships are balanced. Because this is Libra season, we're going to be having the new moon in Libra on October 14th. And that's actually going to be a an eclipse. But that's actually a really good new moon for manifesting, you know, love, if that's what you're looking for. The tarot card for Libra is, of course, justice, the scales. Some of the characteristics of the Libra archetype are fair, considerate, easygoing, diplomatic, sincere, sociable, elegant, artistic, creative, communicative, well-balanced, and, you know, like, they have a good eye for things. And that, that goes back to, like, you know, they want things to be balanced and artistic and beautiful. And the communicative part, it's different than Gemini. Gemini would be, like, I need to just talk and, and talk and talk. Um, that, because it's ruled by Mercury, which is the planet of communication. But where Venus is concerned, communication is about building relationships. So it's not just talking for the sake of talking. It's, you know, getting to know people better. It's forming bonds and stuff like that. Any archetype is going to have shadow attributes. So we've got overbearing, narcissistic, impatient, easily influenced, wishy-washy, gullible, extravagant, and codependent. So if you are in a relationship or if you have a history of being in relationships that could be more codependent, I would recommend doing a release on the full moon in Libra, but that also already happened in April. You can also set an intention to bring balance into your relationships. So the herbs that I have for Libra are aloe. That's not an herb, it's a plant, sorry. <laughs> Ladies mantle, ginger, astragalus and curcumin the plant is aloe and the flower is rose once again you know ruled by venus so the rose sure uh stones we've got the emerald malachite opal lapis lazuli rose quartz agate labradorite and aquamarine and those are not necessarily direct associations but things that could help bring balance 
to certain areas. Colors, we've got emerald green and yellow. Probably yellow for the air sign and emerald green for Venus. The keyword we have is relationships. The body part that Libra rules is kidneys and lower back. So if you were going to work on any sort of Libra issue, you can try hydrating since your kidneys need a lot of water to help flush out toxins and such. And anything that would like balance something within your system. And it is a masculine cardinal air sign. The dates for Libra are about September 24th to October 23rd-ish. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen the other ones, there is going to be a playlist um, linked somewhere down below, maybe. And uh yeah thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know and bye